When an angel arrived, but not through the doors, he simply appeared and she dropped to the floor. Hello, Mary, he said. God is with you. God is with me. She wondered. Well, what does that mean? What is this all about? Is this some kind of dream? The angel just smiled. Don't be scared. Please don't scream. God is happy with you and will bless you. God knocks down the crowd and lifts up the door. And those mighty things for those who love it. And blesses the ones who serve the seasons. So sing out his praise. He is amazing. You'll have a baby, the angel went on. A quite special baby called Jesus, God's son, the heir of King David. He'll sit on his throne and his kingdom will last forever. But how? Mary asked them. I don't understand. I'm engaged to be wed, but he's not yet my man. Trust God, said the angel. He's got it all planned. His spirit will come upon you. All night, Joseph tossed. All night, Joseph turned. He just couldn't sleep. He'd only just learned. That Mary was pregnant was more she could learn. The baby she born was not his. Joseph, don't worry. Joseph, don't weep. Lay down your head and go back to sleep. Mary's been faithful on one strong and deep. And her baby is God's own son. She told him this tale. An angelic visitor, a son to be born by God's own spirit. The more she went on, the less he believed it. He wanted to break their engagement. But just as sleep came, that angel appeared. Don't worry, he said. There's nothing to fear. I know your trouble, so you need to hear that Mary is telling the truth. The baby she bears, it's God's holy son. Call his name Jesus, for he is the one. God promised to send to save everyone. Emmanuel, God with us. He is the answer to all the, the prophets have said. So keep your game, be glad in the wed. And when Joseph woke up, that's just what he did. He took so Mary, Mary to be his, his wife. wife. Then Mary and Joseph first went down to be counted by Caesar and Bethany in the town. There were no empty rooms for the couple to stay, so they stopped at a place where the animals were. And there in the hay she gave birth to God's son and cuddled and cradled her special small one. Shepherds lying on a hill, the night was silent, all was still. They watched their flock of grazing sheep and tried hard not to fall asleep. When bright and white an angel came to light the night a fiery flame, the shepherds trembled where they lay. The angel said, Don't be afraid. Sing praise to God and give him glory. Celebrate his wondrous story of love and joy and peace to men. For it begins in Bethlehem. The news is good, the news I bring. Good news to make you leap and sing. Good news for people everywhere. Good news of joy for all to share. Good news of, for God has kept his word and sent a saviour Christ to God. The one he promised he would send is born this day in Bethlehem. And, and this will be a sign for you. In this house you'll know it's true. You'll find a baby wrapped in cloth, sleeping in a cattle trough. The angel then was joined by more, six and twelve and twenty-four. And then too many more to number, a heaven fire, loud as thunder. And so the angel left that place, just like they'd come without a tree. Except for all they sang and said, which echoed in the shepherds' heads. Let's go to Bethlehem and see. The shepherds all as one agreed. They found the baby where he lay asleep upon the bed of hay. 
they told them what the angel said, then Mary smiled and raised her head. A secret hid there in her eyes, for she was not one bit surprised. She backly went to sheep the hill, no longer silent, hardly still, singing loud like angels' bride, and all that they had seen that night. Sing praise to God and the infinite glory, celebrate his wondrous story of love and joy and peace to men, for it begins in Bethlehem. The star watchers watched the stars go by, looking for the secrets in the sky. And then they saw a special star, a way in the west, the way of the north. The king's be born, that's what it means, the day away or so it seems. They climbed aboard their camelly beasts and set off west from their homes back east. One, One hump, two humps, lumpy lump. The star watchers went with a bump and a thump. One hump, two humps, lumpy lump. The star watchers followed the star. At last their journey came to an end. They parked their camels in Jerusalem. Then they went to Herod. King of the nation, to ask his love some information. Oh, King! They asked. They were quite polite. Somewhere around here on this star of night, a brand new baby is picking a bump. Can you tell us where this child resides? A worried look crossed Herod's face. He had no plans to be replaced. So he asked his priest if they could tell where this brand new baby came from. The priest answered all straight away. Then Herod thought an evil thing. I think I need to meet this king, Star Watcher's friends. King Herod smiled. In Bethlehem, you will find the child. Would you tell me where you find him? It's the exact address we put my mind at ease. Herod, of course, told them a lie. He'd already planned for the child to die. When he found the boy, that's what he'd do. So the star watchers left without a clue. The shining star led them to the place, a simple house, not some fancy space. And when they saw the little boy, they gave him a pile of special toys. Presents, rather, fit for a king. A bunch of shiny golden things. A spice called myrrh, a sort of perfume. While smelly frankincense filled the room. Then in the night, they had a dream that showed them Herod's evil scheme. So they never said where the boy's house lay, but went straight home by another way. So what is the point of angels and shepherds and camels and stars, you say? Is it just a nice story to tell the children to celebrate Christmas Day? It's not just a story, it's not just for kids, it's the hinge on which history swings. That Bethlehem baby grew into a man who challenged all powers and kings. He taught us that love is better than hate, that serving beats being in charge. He showed us the value of each human life, the little as well as the large. And then, on a cross, he died for us all, died to take all our wrongs away. And walked three days later, right out of his tomb, to turn death's dark night to day. And that is the good news the angels proclaimed, the heart of all Jesus would do. A new life for now, a new life forever, that's his Christmas present to you.